spiritual retreat, encounter with Jesus, healing, deliverance, gift of tongues. Dear brothers and sisters, we gather in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I am Brother Joseph of the Work of God Apostolate. And I want to invite you to have a few minutes of recollection in the dog. Our apostolate is one of praise, prayer, thanksgiving, adoration, blessing, intercession, reparation, charity, deliverance, and healing. The spiritual life of Catholics has suffered a great loss because of the last pandemic. The Church has been having some bad changes that diminish the spirituality of many Catholics. The whole body of Christ suffers because of this. Let us gather to make adoration and reparation in this spiritual retreat. God loves us and allows us to meet with Him, for He is always there, where two or more gather in his name. In our encounter with Jesus, we cannot have true intimacy unless we deny ourselves, as Jesus says in Matthew 16, verse 24. This self-denial becomes impossible. When we come to the Lord full of requests, complaints, words, and even many devotions, that prevents us from finding a moment of silence to listen to the Lord. It is imperative to enter into our interior silence, otherwise we cannot have an intimate relationship with Jesus. We are accustomed to talk to Him a lot, to ask Him a lot, and so we make a lot of noise, but we don't give Him the opportunity to speak to us. Truly, we have not denied ourselves, as the Lord says. When we forget ourselves and enter into the presence of God, nothing in our life is important anymore. So, our encounter with the Lord makes more sense. It is the same as when we fall asleep. Simply, we are no longer there. That is why it is the moment in which God can speak to us, and many times He does it through dreams, because He takes advantage of the fact that we do not interrupt Him. That attachment to our own life and to self-love, although it seems so healthy, is the worst enemy of our souls, because it acts against the divine will. The soul that desires to know God must desire Him above all its own desires, above life itself, for truly life is not ours, but the Lord's. It is only when we detach ourselves from our own desires that we are able to know God. It is only when we detach ourselves from all that we have called our own, when we look upon it as garbage without any value, that Christ begins to receive from us the value he deserves. St. Paul says in Philippians 3, verse 8, And furthermore, I judge all things to be lost before the sublimity of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as garbage, that I may gain Christ let us remember that the Apostles left everything to be with Christ. Matthew 16, verse 24 Likewise, we must leave everything. And here, I don't mean that we will leave the good things that God has given us, such as wife, family, children, and work, etc. But we must have Christ as the center of our lives. We should give to God what is God's, and to Caesar, or to the world, what is of the world. Matthew 22, verse 21. 
The unique way to find holiness is the attitude we saw in the desert fathers who did not have Christ in person like the apostles, not even in the Holy Eucharist. They found him in solitude, in silence, in the fulfillment of the commandments, in piety and recollection. We live in a world full of noise. But even in the midst of all this, we must make space to enter within ourselves, in the temple of Jesus, which is life, in the temple of the Holy Spirit that God has made within us, in order to be able to meet with Him. And the holiness of human beings is proportional to the surrender we have to God. So, there will be saints who will shine brightly like the sun, and others who, even though they are saints, will shine with less light, like a candle. For that reason, let us aspire to the highest holiness, not so much for ourselves, but for the glory of God. To be holy is the will of God the Father. Leviticus 11 verse 42 Dear brother, sister, holiness is very real. It is not a story of people that the Church has canonized. It is not only for holy priests, nuns and religious. It is for all the baptized in Christ who find the way to the Father. Holiness is an open door for all Christians, for all of us who accept Christ as our God, Lord, King and Savior. His Word has taught us that holiness is possible. I would say that holiness can be defined in the signs that accompany believers, just as Jesus says. Mark 16 verses 17 to 20. These are the signs that will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will cut snakes in their hands, and though they drink poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will get well. With this, the Lord Jesus, after speaking to them, was taken up to heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. They went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied it. Now, not all saints manifest these signs. For God in His grace gives to whom He wills, when He wills, and how He wills. The possession of spiritual gifts does not mean that one person is holier than another. However, it seems to me that it is important to live by the Word of God and to have for the tranquility of the Spirit some sign that shows us that we are in the spiritual life. I testify that all this is real, and glory to God, these signs have manifested in my life. Gift of tongues, gift of deliverance, gift of healing, etc. That is why, with Jesus, I say, John 3, verse 11, Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak of what we know and testify of what we have seen, and it is because we should all long to be filled with the Holy Spirit and His gifts. First of Corinthians 14 verse 1 Strive after charity, aspire to spiritual gifts, especially the gift of prophecy. And what is the gift of prophecy? If not to speak with the Word of God, it is not only to predict future events, but to listen to the voice of God in the heart and speak with those words to those who listen to us. As for this gift of prophecy of the Word of God, the Lord speaks to me in my heart, and you can find messages from the Lord on my website or on my YouTube channel, The Work of God. My desire is that all who listen to me can have a very intimate relationship with the Lord as He has allowed me to have. Unfortunately, holiness cannot be studied or copied from books. 
It cannot be communicated from person to person. To describe two simple ways to achieve holiness, I would say first that it is something that God gives to the soul that surrenders to his divine will, and second, to the soul that trusts totally in the Blessed Virgin Mary and surrenders to her. Since we all expect many fruits from these spiritual retreats, I want to share with you some ways that the Lord has taught me to be able to reach His throne and listen to His voice. All these can unquestionably only be achieved through much prayer. The first thing we must do to enter into the silence of God's presence is to be still, not only physically, but spiritually. As it says in Psalm 46, verse 10, Be still and know that I am the Lord your God. In our stillness, we must manifest our humility before the greatness of God. We must always come to the Lord with a humble and contrite heart. We must silence all those inner voices of our passions, of our carnal inclinations, of all the resentments that we have. In other words, the inner silence must be a total stillness of the soul where only God is spoken to. And this is only a start in order to give him the opportunity to speak to us. Let's start by closing our eyes, breathing deeply a few times. Let's think that when we breathe, God is giving us life. When we exhale, we are giving praise to God for the gift of life. In order to have a good inner disposition, let us then come humbly before our God who is waiting for us to love Him, bless Him, praise Him, adore Him, thank Him, exalt Him, magnify Him, glorify Him, and trust in Him. Let us then eagerly seek the kingdom of heaven on the throne of our heart, and forget all else, for God will give it to us as well. Matthew 6, verse 33 Whenever we pray, let us seek holy company. Let us not pray alone. Let us begin by invoking the Virgin Mary, the company of the patriots, prophets, apostles, martyrs, confessors, saints, religious and hermits. Let us also ask for angelic help, the seraphim, cherubim, thrones, dominations, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and angels. Psalm 100 verse 4 Let us enter his gates with thanksgiving. Let us come into his courts with hymns of praise. Let us give thanks to him. Let us praise his holy name. This retreat has been done many times in our prayer, rosary, and adoration groups but I see it very appropriate in virtual form for anyone who wishes to go spiritually. It is the same if we do it during Lent or any time. We wish to be closer to the Lord. Lord Jesus, I join with all the brothers and sisters who are listening to these words. Let us bless, praise, and adore the Lord. We bless you, our God. We praise and we adore you for your infinite perfections, for your divine attributes, and for having created us out of nothing. I acknowledge that I am your creature, the work of your hands. I adore you and I give you honor, magnificence, and divinity as the supreme Lord, Savior, and Creator of myself. And of everything that exists. With humility and resignation, I raise my body, mind, soul, and spirit to you, and I ask you to dispose of myself according to your most holy will, today and during the rest of my life, 
and I ask you to teach me to fulfill whatever will be for your greatest pleasure and glory. Please give me your counsel, Lord, your permission, and your blessing on everything that I do, that I may glorify your holy name. May you be blessed, loved, praised, worshipped, and adored, Lord my God. Alleluia, Alleluia, glory to God. Worship in tongues, say Jesus and Mary if you do not have the gift of tongues. Atere na mahasai ajusta la rea tajab o kompore nenene ala hush and bete katia sasar a podolon de tera hab. We praise you, Lord, for your infinite greatness, because you have created heaven and earth, everything visible and invisible, because you have created us in your image, and you desire our salvation. May you be blessed, loved, praised, worshipped, and adored, Lord my God. Alleluia, alleluia, glory to God. Hana malia revda satakona sean pid ala stavara shuna monde a kole a sto tora mach ala sto para naia tushta lavariti nihenai. We worship you, Lord, for you are our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We adore you, Lord, truly present with us in your Eucharistic presence. O Sacrament most holy. O Sacrament Divine, O praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, most holy body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, eternal Word of God, living bread, come down from heaven, to the sacred womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to the holy hands of priests at the altars of the Church, throughout the world, throughout the the ages, to my heart, celestial food, holy Eucharist, body of Christ, holy wounds, precious blood, border, pains, tears, sorrows, and anguishes of Jesus and Mary, Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus, holy Eucharist, all love, praise, thanksgiving, adoration, and worship, all the honor, the blessing, the kingdom, the power, the light, majesty, and glory be yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. We adore you. We adore you. We adore you, Lord. Give us the grace to adore you more and more and more. In your omnipresence, infinitely and eternally, like the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Joseph, the saints, the holy archangels and angels, and so, like an ardent seraph, may we adore you eternally in your light, majesty, and glory. Amen. May you be blessed, loved, praised, worshipped, and adored, Lord my God. Alleluia, alleluia, glory to God. Ania hasebere lai, aturente sene mala curi an satai, avaste perenaha namin, calcoro borore oerata tahu, amules teberek. We thank you, Lord, for all the gifts you have given us, for the family, for our loved ones, for your blessing and protection, for the gift of faith, because we are your children, because you have saved us from eternal damnation, and because you fill us with your Holy Spirit to know you, love you, serve you, and glorify your holy name. Thank you, Lord. May you be blessed, loved, praised, worshipped, and adored. Lord my God, Alleluia, Alleluia, glory to God. In the area of the Apacoros and Anai, we will have a tenere to us to parapai, a calansu paranabe, and there to hina honey ao, a wool of our patos and pecaya. Today, I would like us to pose at the crucified body of Jesus, to meditate on that infinite love that saves us, and to ask forgiveness for our sins, 
Let us speak to the Heavenly Father who looks at all humanity through the holy wounds of Jesus. Lord God, Eternal Father, you look at the holy wounds on the head of Jesus, those stones that penetrate his flesh, those blows that he has received on his head, which is the throne of eternal wisdom. And there Jesus pays for all our sins of pride, materialism, our attachments to the earthly things, and our contempt for divine science. Lord Jesus, forgive us and give us humility and detachment. Holy Father God, you look at the holy face of Jesus, full of blows, bruises, swellings, covered with blood, fears, and stitches. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us, Lord Jesus, repair and beautify our souls. God, merciful Father, you look at the holy wounds on the back of Jesus and all the wounds caused by the scourging. There Jesus has paid for our lust, for having given our bodies the temples of the Spirit to the evil spirits through sin. Forgive us, Lord Jesus, give us the grace of purity. The Heavenly Father looks at the deep and painful wound of your shoulder, the most painful of all, and there he finds that you still sin in your grace and mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Forgive us, Lord Jesus. Holy Father, God, you look upon the knees and elbows of Jesus that are lacerated by his faults, which have paid for our faults into sin. Forgive us, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your divine mercy. Heavenly Father, you look at the wounds of Jesus' holy hands, pierced by your rival deeds. Forgive us, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for suffering for us. God, merciful Father, you look at the wounds of Jesus' pierced feet, and there you see how Jesus already paid for all our evil steps and ways. Forgive us, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Heavenly Father wants to do justice and enters your heart, but there he finds your pierced heart in which you have created an infinite and eternal source of grace and divine mercy that disarms the divine justice and opens the salvation for all of us sinners. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We adore your holy wounds, precious blood, water, pains, tears, and anguishes, and those of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving us through your sufferings and your holy death. Thank you, Virgin Mary, for uniting yourself with your sufferings to those of Jesus, and for being our sorrowful mother, for redemptrix of the world. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for by your holy wounds you have healed us. Brothers and sisters, I want all of us to enter into deep prayer. Leave this prayer, feel it in your heart. The Lord is listening to you to bless you, heal you, and free you. The Lord wants to sanctify you, open your heart. God loves you. He sent his son Jesus into the world for the sole purpose of saving your soul. Now Jesus is waiting for you with an open heart to enter into him. For Jesus saved you personally. He is your personal Lord and Savior. No matter how great your sins are, Divine mercy is greater than all of them and desires to purify you for eternity. The Virgin Mary received the grace to give the world its Savior. Now she leads us by the hand to her Son Jesus. Now I will speak from my heart, united to the heart of each one of you, so that you can live this encounter in a personal way with the Lord. Virgin Mary, 
most holy mother, I ask you to purify my soul with your piety and recollection, with your purity, your humility, with all your virtues, with all your tears. I come before you, most holy trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Lord my God, I love you with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my strength, and with all my being. Fill me with your divine love, so that I may be like a fountain of your divine love, flowing to you to glorify you and to all mankind to extend your mercy. Lord God, eternal Father, I want to thank you that you have given me the gift of life, that you have patiently tolerated my outrages to your divine will. I thank you for all that you give me physically and spiritually for my loved ones and for the great love that you have manifested to me through your Son Jesus, whom I accept as my Lord, my God, my King, and my Savior. Most Holy Mother, take me by your hands, bathe in your tears to the presence of Christ crucified, your most loved Beloved Son, Lord Jesus, I humble myself and prostrate myself in the Spirit before you. Forgive my sins and those of all mankind. And just as when I receive you in the Holy Eucharist, I now ask you to fill me with you, so that I may say, It is not I who live, it is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ who lives in me. Lord Jesus, I want to live in you. Let me find permanent refuge in your sacred broken humanity. Crucify my soul in your holy wounds. Precious blood, water, pains, tears, sorrows and anguishes, and those of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord Jesus, crucify for all the sins of my life. I ask you to heal my soul of all the wounds caused by my faults and my disobedience to the divine will. It was not the Roman soldiers, nor the lashes, nor the crown of thorns, nor the torments you suffered at the crucifixion that tortured you and caused you death. It was my sins. And today, I feel personally responsible for your holy death, and I ask your forgiveness. Heal me, Lord Jesus, wash my soul with your precious blood, cleanse me of all my guilt, and fill me with your light. Make of me a new creature, for I surrender myself totally to you and submit myself to your divine will and mercy. Enlighten my conscience, Lord, and give me the spirit of truth. Allow me to live always in the light of truth. Pass through my life even before my conception. Pass through healing, blessing, purifying, and restoring. Go through all my family, my ancestors, all those around me. Cleanse our lives and sanctify us. Heal me of all the sins and generational faults that are attached to my life. Today, I present to you my life full of problems, anxieties, needs, and expectations. I come to place all this in your holy wounds, for I want to be totally unconcerned about everything while I had this encounter with you. May this not be my will, but yours, Lord. May my desires also be yours. May you have mercy on me, not because I have merits to offer you, but because of your divine mercy. Lord Jesus, I give you all my life. I give you all my burdens, a charge of everything. Virgin Mary, my holy little mother, have mercy on me, a sinner. 
Clothe my soul with your light and present me to your Son Jesus. Intercede for all my needs, obtain salvation for me. Holy Spirit, Sanctifier, give me your light, give me your constant inspiration, give me your word, fill my temple with your spirit. Drive out of me every evil spirit and take complete possession of my being. Take out all darkness and fill me fully with your light. Take out all attachments, all materialism, all self-love, all pride that is in me. Lord God the Father, Father of all spirits, I thank you that you have made me spirit of your spirit, light of your light, and have given me faith in Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord and Savior. I believe in Jesus, and I believe in the signs that accompany believers. God the Holy Father, I ask your permission to use the holy name of Jesus and the holy name of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I ask you to share your light, your grace, and your power with me, to cast out demons from our lives. I command you, Satan, Lucifer, and every evil spirit, to get out of my life, to stay away from me and all the people who are part of my life. I am a child of God, redeemed and covered with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And I command you, get out of my life, Satan, and do not come back anymore. I command you, Lucifer and all the demons of darkness, to go out of my life. I command you, by the power of the light of God, that overcomes darkness. All darkness be dispelled by the power of God's light that surrounds me. Be gone Satan and every evil spirit in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Be gone Satan and return no more by the power of the arm of God and by the power of the food of the Blessed Virgin Mary that crush your head and all your minions. Be gone, Satan, and do not come back any more. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, the Son of the Virgin Mary. Be gone, Satan, and do not come back any more. In the name of the Blessed Virgin Mary, conceived without sin. Be gone, Satan, and do not come back any more. I command you by the power of the Holy Cross. Begon Satan, spirit of pride, by the humility of the Blessed Virgin Mary in our Lord Jesus Christ. Begon Satan, spirit of impurity, by the purity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Immaculate Conception, and the purity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Begon Satan, spirit of deceit, by the truth that is in the Blessed Virgin Mary, in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Word of God, the Truth. Begone Satan, spirit of rebellion and disobedience, by the obedience of the Blessed Virgin Mary to the Divine Will, and by the obedience of Jesus, even until death. Begone Satan, spirit of sinfulness, by the power of Our Lady, full of grace and holiness, and by the grace and holiness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Get out, Satan, out of my life, and out of all those that I command you, by the power of God, given to the angels and the saints, by the power of the saint of this day, by the power of Saint Michael the Archangel, by his humility, by his holiness, his faithfulness and courage, by his breastplate, his shield, and his soul. Anadani avala karamono no li avada potoshia peren has in the day, if it ili me has a karen kalokaro badai. Who is like God? No one is like God. Who is like the Blessed Virgin Mary? No one is like the Blessed Virgin Mary, conceived without sin. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. O love, praise, thanksgiving, adoration, blessing, 
honor, power, kingdom, majesty, and glory be at all times yours, Lord God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In company with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Amen, Alleluia, Glory to God. Dear brother, sister in Christ, may God bless you and keep you. May he heal you of all your ills of body, mind, and soul. May he free you from all the influences of the devil. May he free you from all the influences of the evil one. May the light of his face shine in your soul. May he fill you with wisdom and share with you his divine attributes. May he fill you with his light and grace, and may he fill you with peace. Tell us, how do you like this retreat? Do you want to know more about Jesus? Our apostolate has all the teachings you need to grow spiritually. Visit the video listings and spiritual reflections of the work of God. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, make this video viral, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.